furthest through Mario 64. And I really hope people don't <laughs> people don't lynch me for that. But um, you know, I've never really been a massive fan of Mario 64. I can understand why it's important. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it, it it's as great as people make out. I think there's this gross tinted sort of spectacle thing going on with Mario 64. Um, and we've seen it too many times now, although I could say that for Rayman too. Um, I always find it funny that uh, this is subtitled The Great Escape on um, the Dreamcast version. Um, and the only games onwards, I think it's got a couple of other sub names in other versions, but uh, ultimately that is the great escape happening there, like five seconds of the story, and the rest of it has nothing to do with Rayman or anybody else escaping. I mean, Rayman sets prisoners free, but um, it's not like you're in a prison camp and planning an escape or anything, but I always find it amusing. So, that uh, type of fun glow box gone missing. It's pretty much the same as it is. Most of the stages, as far as I've seen, I've not played the PC version much. But as far as I've seen, most of the stages are exactly the same as the Dreamcast version. It's odd with... Hang on to... Ah, here we go. Good old Murphy. He set the star in the upcoming Wii U version, should I say, of uh, Rayman Legends. over there, I'm thinking ahead already. So the, the general goal is to collect all of the lums that have been captured. Lums and uh, nobody else in the world pretty much. But there's a, a percentage number of lums to collect and it's possible to get 101% on it. I've never managed to do that myself. But, uh, you know, you rescue a range of different characters along the way. I always like how um, lively and, and vivid the world are. So, like having these insects, these odd looking insects flying around the place. And um, if you want some mushrooms here, they, they instead of them bouncing around, they often stack on top of each other and move about the place. And lots of little touches that you wouldn't get in the other one on platforms, but it um, really helps sell the world and make it feel a bit like a classic animated movie of like, I don't want to say 80s because the 80s animated movies were terrible. Disney, what were you doing? And Don Bluth, overrated. I mean, he's an amazing animation studio, but um, it's, it is, but... Uh, uh, Page Master wasn't that good, really, was it? Anyway. Damn, what have we got set up for you? There they go. <laughs> I was at this point as well. I think Ubisoft have lost a bit of the touch with this. But this period, from, from I think around about Rain Man 2, but up until I'd say around about. Maybe Beyond Good and Evil is a good example as well. Of doing something really special. So Games. Um, you'll notice at the next stage, eh? Oh, here we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
to consider war on me. It's usually dead. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's do! I love this bit. <laughs> this is a slow realization. to a great adventure we go. I love the, the things he said, got this sense of a, very much again like an animated movie sort of group of characters you'd see one. In this section here, the um, over the world map essentially, is vastly different in the Dreamcast version. Um, and I think this makes a return, this version of it, in PlayStation 1 edition, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, but in the Dreamcast version, instead of being presented with this pool of stars and different warp zones inside it, you are given an island to walk around, and the more further you progress along the island pathway, there's more and more doors and sideways to, to walk down. You unlock uh, stages that way. It's essentially the same thing. It's nothing in depth, but it's interesting to see why that they, the developers decided to make that change um, and you find yourself wondering exactly why I mean it feels a lot more like um, appropriate for the pirate based enemies and adventure you're going on but um, yeah, both have their charm so this stage, you'll notice talking about the music now these uh, portal things here, you can just jump into it whenever you want and leave, I think. Yeah. Now that's safe. So I'll just jump back in there, shall we? Um, so this stage, like I was saying, is a fine example, probably the best example early on about the soundtrack that as you're progressing different audio cues blend together and naturally occur as you're going through the world and this is the, the drum beat or bongo beat just feels really appropriate for the, the emotion and how you move along just propels you along calmly that old sense of adventure and then the music blends as you come around the corner that guitar or the electronic guitar the simulated guitar or the synthetic guitar magic guitar <laughs> with the music blending in and more and more instruments kind of merging together for different sections going in and out all on the fly I think that's intentional. Maybe I'm just timing my, my progression through the, the levels really well every time. Yeah. 
These um, upcoming climbing and traversal sections in a minute give a real sense of flow to the, the animation and movement of the character, which is again unique considering he has no arms and legs. Is there a giant at the top? No. <sighs> Even though I don't need these, I need to collect as many as I can. <laughs> that compulsive behaviour. Right. Can we get time to write us? Shouldn't be too hard. I can pop up here, but I can also drop down to collect things. Not much down that way. Now there are cages in these stages that... Oh, that mind. <laughs> there are cages in each stage that you will not be able to collect the first time through. Um, in this case, I'm obviously obtaining new abilities or finding new pathways and coming back and finding a way means to to get to them cages later this way first I think instead of going down that hole Get a few more lumps up here somewhere. So these red lumps are time based. Oh, oh, don't fall off. Probably a bad idea. Ah, a larger lump worth more. acid, so instant death, or at least something that looks acid like. Right? Oh, here we go. Traditional climbing upwards with things dropping straight down at you from above, with a camera angle below you. Section. Ah! No, I... Ah. 